The traditional family concept is fueled across the world is perfect, something everyone should aspire to in their life. And divorce, stepfamilies, and half-siblings have been pushed aside as inherently problematic. Yet Antonio Banderas and Dakota Johnson defy stereotypes like no other. The two actors have an incredibly strong bond. So, how did he help the angry young rebel find her footing in life when her mom was fighting her own demons? Hop in, there's going to be a lot of sobbing. Be prepared. When Banderas won the Hollywood Actor Award for his film Pain and Glory, Dakota was the one to present him with the trophy. My stepfather, Antonio Banderas, burst into our lives. He was so vibrant and so fun and so funny, and his English was abstract. <laughs> Johnson was brought to tears and left everyone crying their eyes out as she talked about her former stepfather. Before we continue, let us throw it back to 20 years ago, when Banderas had arguably one of his most fabulous appearances. While he hasn't been a red carpet regular over the last few years, it's not his first time celebrating in Hollywood's most prestigious night. That year, the actor brought two very special dates. His then-wife Melanie Griffith, and then 10-year-old stepdaughter Dakota Johnson. Yes, that's right. Just look at how cute they all are together. Aww. And now, though Griffith and Banderas split up after 20 years together in 2015, Johnson still considers the actor family. I come from a family of many a marriage and I got fortunate, Johnson told the audience. I got a bonus dad who I realized that over time is actually one of the most influential people in my whole life. When she was just six years old, her mom, Melanie Griffith, married a man who brought a whole new world of creativity and culture and, quote, one remarkably magical little sister into our family. She got emotional in the speech as she detailed Banderas' dedication to his craft. Then, tearing up, Dakota said he taught her about true passion and discipline, saying how he would spend hours, days even, in his office trying to get a handle on something he had become interested in, or a role he was preparing. Antonio also made sure she got her education before embracing the make-believe world. Despite her early debut in his movie Crazy in Alabama, both Antonio and Melanie discouraged her from acting until she graduated from high school, as both also first finished school. Johnson listened and didn't begin auditioning in Los Angeles until then, and stays eternally grateful for that. In an interview, the genius actor revealed he had no idea Johnson would be giving such a loving speech. It was all a surprise for him. I knew that she was going to give the speech, but I had no idea whatsoever how she was going to do it. She didn't tell me anything. It was a poignant moment for Antonio, as it confirmed to him that the two decades they spent as a family meant just as much to her as they did to him. I knew that all of those years that Melanie and I spent together, they were not only just about Melanie and me, but they were also about the family. They were worth it all, Banderas admitted. The star went on to echo Johnson's sentiment from her speech, saying that he will always consider his former stepdaughter to be his family. It was quite an emotional moment for the actor, and, quote, That's one of the reasons, actually, why, Melanie, we can look at each other's faces today. Um, we, the, the kids have been an essential part of our relationship when we were together, and continue being. Yeah, definitely. We are, believe it or not, still a family. Not only that, but they still see each other and go to dinners whenever possible. All because they understood their relationship, and their relationship with the people who love them especially their kids. Banderas accepted the award, which he dedicated to Johnson and Stella Banderas, he and Griffith's 23-year-old daughter. He noted that he wanted to thank Johnson specifically for still calling him Poppy after all these years. You have no idea how much I love that, the actor said at the award show. Banderas previously echoed Johnson's statement about family in an interview with Vulture. I am not married to Melanie anymore, but she is my family, he said. She is probably one of my best friends, if not the best friend. Antonio Banderas got to know Melanie Griffith, Dakota's mother, while shooting too much in the mid-90s. It's no secret that the Griffith Johnsons were quite troubled. Alcoholism, drug addiction, marital infidelities, you name it. Dakota went on record to state how her childhood had been less than perfect, and that she didn't have an anchor growing up due to her volatile parents. Antonio had known about all the issues surrounding the family, but he couldn't help himself. 
he'd fallen madly in love. They'd both been committed to other people at the time. Antonio to actress Anna Oleza, and Melanie to actor Don Johnson. Years had gone by, and the pair realized that their attraction extended beyond infatuation. They soon married and had a beautiful daughter, Stella. Acclimating to stepfatherhood hadn't been easy right away. Dakota and her brother Alexander were young, and he hasn't had an experience of being a father yet. Fortunately, welcoming a daughter into their marriage helped him overcome his fears and embrace fatherhood like nothing else. Banderas said in an interview that once Dakota and Alexander figured out that he's going to be a consistent fixture in their life, they let their guard down and started warming up to him. Of course, it helped that the kids were craving stability in their lives and were growing increasingly tired of being shuffled back and forth between their parents. Antonio's arrival proved to be a gift in disguise, as he offered a solid ground in which they could grow and blossom. Suddenly, he had a six-year-old girl, a ten-year-old boy, and a toddler on his hands. As soon as I realized that, I started establishing my relationship, giving them security, little by little, doing the father thing. While it had been relatively painless to get in his stepkids' good graces, Antonio did struggle with navigating Melanie's reoccurring substance abuse issues. As a result, she'd been in and out of rehab throughout their marriage. Griffith has battled addiction in the public eye for a good portion of her Hollywood career. She's been in and out of rehab for quite some time. Her husband, Antonia Banderas, stood by Melanie's side. Even though the couple said they fought while she struggled, Antonio admitted that he would have left to get her to clean up if needed. Melanie said that she did her best to focus on her children despite her substance abuse issues through the years. I wasn't like a drunk on the floor, out of it person, Griffith said. I didn't do some things I probably should have done, but mostly I was there for my kids. They had a sort of privileged gypsy life. However, Dakota struggled and became an angry young rebel. I was colorful. I didn't abide by the rules very well. I was like a wild, feral little child. In her teens, she was sent to a Catholic boarding school to give her discipline and stability, but was a target of bullying from students. My parents had some problems of their own that put me in a position of having to deal with very grown-up stuff at a very young age. So I needed some help with that, therapy-wise. Thankfully, her stepdad was there to help her and her mom. Even though these stints inflicted a great deal of agony on Antonio, he persevered and put his mind to supporting Melanie through her recovery however he could. She has overcome her problems beautifully, adding that the entire family participated in her rehabilitation. We did all the therapies together. The kids, everybody. It was a very unique experience, not only for Melanie. It was very rewarding at the end, he said. While it's unfortunate Antonio and Dakota aren't technically related by marriage anymore, the love they demonstrate for each other continues to be unparalleled and boundless. Dakota says Antonio changed all of their lives forever. Johnson elaborated how Banderas loved the family with so much passion and purpose that it transformed their world inside out. Dakota is glad to count him as a fierce and loyal companion to this date. He loved my mother and my siblings and me so fiercely and so big and so loud that it would change all of our lives forever. Antonio, similarly, couldn't be more ecstatic over the connection he shares with his former stepdaughter. He's been an ardent follower of her career and says he's proud of her every time he comes across a billboard or promotional material featuring her. Um, I'm not going to say name, but some directors, important people and uh, producers, they approach me and they say, well, the movie is, is, is good, but your daughter, your stepdaughter. That's she's great. She's fabulous. She's fabulous. And that uh, makes me very proud. I met her when she was five years old, he said. I followed every single step of it. I'm so proud of her. I saw her the other day in Toronto, and she looks, as I said in the social networks when I put a picture of her and myself, I put there, my radiant Dakota. What's more remarkable about their relationship is that because Antonio is no longer married to Melanie, it wouldn't be the end of the world if Dakota decided to completely sever ties with her stepdad. Sometimes the divorce process is so complex that it can invalidate the marriage itself, but that has nothing to do with the Banderas Griffith family. Antonio Banderas is keen on maintaining amicable relations with his ex-wife and her family. The couple announced their decision to divorce in a public statement in June 2014, adding that they're hoping to undergo this process in a loving and friendly manner. 
They indeed stayed true to their words since Antonio said he still considers Melanie his best friend, saying that he'll love her till the day he dies. You know, Melanie is probably one of my best friends right now. It's a woman that I was married with for 20 years, but she is a, a dear friend of mine. I love her very much. Likewise, Dakota and Alexander are still family to him, and he couldn't be more grateful to have played a paternal role in their lives through their most impressionable years. His unyielding appreciation and gratitude for his stepfamily exemplify what it's like to find hope in the face of hardship. That's not to say Dakota and her brother's childhood had been miserable up to that point, and that Antonio served as a guardian angel of sorts to cure them of their suffering. Of course, both of them love and adore their biological fathers. However, it's still safe to say that Antonio's presence encouraged them to pursue their dreams and flourish in a way they hadn't before. I was there because I loved their mother, and they were the most important part of what she came with. Very soon, they understood that. They called me Paponio, a mixture between Papa and Antonio. The idea of blended or chosen families isn't a concept exclusive to the entertainment industry. Instead of turning away from such experiences, as awkward as they might be, it is beneficial for us to open our hearts and begin getting to know the individual in question. Sometimes we'll get along, occasionally we won't. But the key is to understand that there's always more space to let people in, to add more love. If Antonio hadn't done the heavy lifting as a young father of three, he wouldn't have been able to reap the rewards in his late 50s. Tell us about your relationship with your family in the comments below. As always, thank you for choosing Rumor Juice. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more stories that will warm your heart.